anyway. <coughs> oh. I think we might have located the source of the blood. Alright, we are here today with another banger for the old Spooktober in Worse Than Dead. This is being brought to us by the developer behind Home. If you haven't played Home, I definitely encourage you to check it out. It's available on just about everything, a very cheap game when it comes to monetary value, but really, really good. And this right here, I think the developer has made other games since Home, but it's kind of like the really big one that's like, if you enjoyed Home, I think you'll definitely find yourself a place in Home in this one. However horrible and horrific it just might be. If you guys enjoy, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up on the video. Otherwise, all the information will be down below. I guess you want to pick this up for yourselves. Let's get to it. Friday, March 22, 1996. The weekend of the high school reunion. Back in our tiny town. In the middle of nowhere. I remember how anxious I was about it all. It had been so long since I'd last seen you, Flynn. We were inseparable ones, but that was before Grace, of course, before the accident. I thought we could finally move on from that event, but I had no idea just how much things would change. The drive from the city feels longer every time. My legs are aching. Okay, so move, uh, we're moving with direction key and we're running with shift. Gotcha. All right. So that's fairly standard fare and we vault with space. It's getting so cold. I can't believe it's snowing again. It's already spring. The sign was like a beacon in this tiny town. Even as a teenager, I found it comforting. Well, you mean a bar? Is that little Holly? Little Holly? Come on, Sam. I'm almost 30 now. My word, it's been a while. You made it back for the reunion after all, did you? Yeah, that's right. Hard to believe it's been this long. Well, it's... It's good to see you back, Ollie. I'm glad to see you got in before the weather gets worse. Anyway, enough about all that. What can I get you? This one's on me. Alright, so we got some beer, we got maybe some scotch in the rocks, and we got red wine. You know, let's keep it a little bit sophisticated here today. Let's go with the red wine. Hmm. Interesting sound when I chose that. So I think Diesel might have an impact on how the story shapes up. You always were the classy one around here. Why, thank you. He's in the back. At his usual table. Thanks, Sam. Hey, Flynn. <laughs> That's it? Seriously? Your best friend in the whole world gets a hey? Come on, have a seat. It's been a while since we've done this, you know? Just sat down together? Probably since... Since just before Grace died. Yeah. Well, as much as I don't want to go to this reunion... It's nice to talk face to face instead of just over the phone. Yeah. Listen, um, I know you've got a lot to think about already. But well, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. Well... Look who it is back here! Oh great, just what we need. You two got some nerve showing your face in here again. God, Jack, you smell like a distillery. Have you been at it all day? You shut your mouth! I'm not here to talk to you, I'm here to talk to this piece of garbage! Come on, Jack, leave us alone. We're just here for the reunion, same as you. Well, I'm sure everyone is going to be real glad to see you both tomorrow. The reunion without its homecoming queen. Jack, what the hell did we talk about? Sit down. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Flynn. Try not to cry too much when you see Grace's memorial. Alright. Not a foreshadowing about this um, Grace thing, huh? That idiot hasn't changed at all. Don't listen to him. He's just trying to rile you up. What happened to Grace? It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I... I know. Holly, what... Uh, what was it that you wanted to talk about? You know, before. I... you know what? Don't worry about it. There'll be another time. 
Rocky start here, I would say. Chapter 1, The Reunion. Saturday, March 23rd, 6.45. I'm liking these little, like, um... Comic book panel type of strips as well. I couldn't sleep at all at the motel. I feel like hot garbage. I better get moving. Flynn's probably waiting up ahead. Alright. There he is. Hey. That's it? Your best friend in the whole world gets a hey? Come on. Let's just get this over with. How's your leg? The cold makes it feel worse. I won't be running anywhere, that's for sure. But I can walk. Well, that's good. Let's just go make our token appearance, stay for an hour, and then beat it. Yeah, okay. You're right. Thanks, Holly. His leg. Well, to my understanding... Let's see. We should just skip the party and go drink down here by the water, like old times. I don't know how we got away with that as much as we did. Remember when we tried to cook hot dogs in the old fire pit and almost burned the bush down? God, I thought we were going to go to jail. Those were good times, back then. This seems like a bit much. The candles make this more like a wake than a reunion. Oh, God, Flynn, I'm, I'm so sorry. What a stupid thing to say. It's okay. I know you didn't mean anything by it. Alright, so I think... In a way or another, obviously, I think at this point we could say that Flynn had some sort of connection to Grace's passing. Explains that drunk, angry dude. That's what I'm thinking here. Wow, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Ten years since we left this place. It doesn't really look any different, though, does it? Looks like the school decorated the trophy case with some old photos of the reunion. There's a photo of Jack when he was on the basketball team. Didn't he have, like, two schools offering him scholarships? Yeah, I think so, but he screwed it all up. Been drinking all the time, that sort of thing. I even heard he was into drugs. Really? When was that? After... After the accident, actually. The accident changed everything. Oh, no. Jack wasn't kidding. The school really did put up a memorial for Grace. Flynn, don't look. I told you. The whole town blames me for what happened. It's like they're rubbing it in my face. Come on. We've talked about this. You need to stop saying that. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, it's busy in here. Not even the bad weather kept people away. Holly, I... I don't think I can do this. Come on, you'll be okay. Remember, we're only staying for an hour, remember? I... I... I think I'm just going to go to the bathroom, okay? Okay, but don't take too long. Yep. Probably not the best place to be if all your peers blame you for something. Damn, well, I might as well make the rounds a bit. What do we got here? Blue cupcakes? A whole bunch of cupcakes and treats steamed after the school's hockey team. I think I'll skip the blue snacks for now. Oh, how dare you skip on a cupcake? Especially one with blue frosting. Uh, Vivian? Vivian Danvers? What? Holly! Holy crap, it's so great to see you! How are you? I'm, uh, okay. It's been a while. It sure has! I heard you moved to the city right after school. Yeah, that's right. Uh, where did you hear that? Oh, come on, Holly. You're looking at Bruce Bay's top local reporter? I keep tabs on everyone. Of course, of course. Does that mean you took over the paper from your dad? You bet! When he retired, I stepped up. I've been modernizing it, too. We even have a website. Ooh, that's actually kind of big. We're talking mid-90s here, so... It's not like 2019 where, like, technically, you're born with a website these days. Or social media, at the very least. Wow, so you're really going high-tech now. That'll be good for the town. What about your sister? A local paper run by twins would be pretty cool. Well, Vanessa is usually too busy flirting with someone to help me much with the paper. So what about you? Did you go off to college then? University. I'm a physiotherapist now. I mainly treat sports injuries. No crap. That's awesome. Damn, you must be in great shape. Oh, I run about three times a week, so I suppose. Wow, that is at least three times more than Vanessa or I do, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I should probably get going. It was nice seeing you again, Vivian. Okay, Holly, take care. This one you want to just kind of skip on. You're like, all right, well, I... Are we done? Is this enough for a chit-chat? Can I, can I go now? Uh, Mr. Sartain, right? From chemistry class? Huh? Oh, uh, Holly, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's right. I had you in grade 12. I, uh, how you been, Mr. Sertain? Oh, please, it's just Dave now. School was a long time ago. Uh, okay. I'll be honest, I can only think of you as Mr. Sertain, even all these years later. Oh, I see. Well, I guess it's different for everyone. <laughs> Vanessa never had a problem using my given name. Huh? Vanessa? Huh. Well, anyway, I most remember not being great in your class. I had a hard time with chemistry. Oh, yes, I recall that as well. I, uh... Uh, Mr. Sertain, do you have to go somewhere? You look distracted. Is everything okay? Okay. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'm just, uh, looking out for someone. Yeah, uh, no problem. I'll leave you to it. All right. Weird. Uh, hi, Carol. Long time no see. Oh, my God. Holly, is it really you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I'll say, the last time I saw you was right before graduation. You just disappeared after that. Yeah, I moved to the city to head off to university. Oh, crap. So, what about, you know... What do you mean? Flynn, of course. I couldn't believe it when I found out that he was engaged to, uh... You know who? To Grace. Yeah, right. I mean, I thought you two were a thing. Huh? No, no, it wasn't like that. We were, I mean... We're just friends. Oh, well, that's so bad. You two always seem really close. Say, he wouldn't happen to be here, would he? Uh, yeah, I think he just went to the men's room, I think. I hope he comes back. I always remember he was pretty handsome. <laughs> Alright, so... Maybe, maybe there was something going on between our character and Flynn. Grace came into the picture. Something happened to Grace. Hey, Van Vanessa? Yeah? Uh, it's Holly. Oh, well, so it is. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good? Are you busy? I just wanted to say hi. Huh? Oh, no, no. Well, yes, in fact, I have a bit of an issue. Okay. Do you remember Mr. Sartain? Uh, our grade 12 chemistry teacher. Right, that's him. Anyway, he was super hot, remember? Okay, go on. Well, I maybe, maybe suggested we catch up later, you know, after this thing I have, taken, I have to take care of. And well, it turns out he hasn't been exactly honest with me. The photos he sends me are pretty old. I'm not following here. Now he just looks like my dad. It wasn't like that back in school. Yeah, imagine that, people age. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Right? So I'm in an awkward situation and, well, there's no point in telling you about it, is there? Anyway, I have to cut this short. I need to, uh, use the washroom. Oh, okay, Vanessa, it was great to catch up with you. Okay, so we have met the locals. It's interesting nonetheless. We're getting some really good information about the people here thus far. There's apparently something dripping in front of us now. Oddly enough, this hallway didn't look this creepy when we first came in. Hello? Flynn? Ew, there's something dripping from the ceiling. Even Sam's bar is better maintained in the school. Damn, it's dark up here. It's starting to feel really cold. Wait a minute. Our own home room was in this hallway. Maybe Flynn went in there? Why, why, why would this man feel the need to go to their homeroom? A somewhat rusty looking old water fountain. Just like always. It's got a small steady leak. I think that's like everybody's water fountains in school. The door won't budge. I don't think it's important anyway. <gasps> oh. I think we might have located the source of the blood. And the rolling bottle. These are beer bottles. Looks like one of these discount brands with a yellow label. Is that blood? Yeah, this is where I turn around and I'm like, alright, well, I'm out of here. I saw everybody. It's time to go. Maybe I'll report the blood once I'm like a mile away from the school in my car. Wow. This is our old homeroom. Alright. It's too dark to see much. But it appears the same. Something smells off in here, though. Like someone forgot their lunch over the weekend. Hey, this is my old desk. But it's been scratched all over with deep cuts. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, that's 
beyond cuts, I would say. What the? It's a mighty amount of blood there. Okay, that's a lot of blood. And I think your innards are outside. Oh god, it's Jack. At least I'm pretty sure it is. The head has been completed this figure. They... His innards are everywhere. Like he was pulled inside out. Yeah, I can't tell what his face looks like anymore, that's for sure. Maybe get, it's apparently a note here. In case. There was a note shoved into Jack's shirt that's covered in blood now, but I can still make out parts of it. You should have stopped when I told you. As um, Flynn gone mad? Some kind of key ring. It looks like the kind a custodian would carry. Oh, cool. For the locked door, probably then, huh? What? What's that sound? What's that? Oh, I can hear it now. Ho what? Yo, I'm seeing, like, shadows. Holly will encounter unseen horrors that are hunting her. Watch to see if she seems nervous, or if the room is unnaturally cold. If Holly gets too close, enemies will see her. She can use her dark- she can use dark places like this one, however, to hide. Her stamina meter will vibrate and change color depending on how close something is. The lights around her will react as well. When it- Whatever that thing is, I can kind of make it out. It's like some really giant brown blob that opens up at halfway point up top. He opens up, like split down the middle. And he's saying, where are you? When enemies are dangerously close, her heart will pound. If Holly runs while her heart is pounding, they'll hear her. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We're out. What the hell was that? The hallway felt so cold, it was like my hands were going numb. Did, did that thing kill Jack? Okay, okay. I need to calm the hell down. It's not gonna help me if I start freaking out. Wait a minute. I don't hear any music anymore. I should check the gym. Or not. I can't open the door. It's just snapped shut and locked itself. This is insane. I have to find Flynn and get out of here. Everywhere else is blocked off. I head outside and check the car. Yeah, let's do that. That would have been my first option, to be honest with you. Alright, blood. Eh, I'm gone. Flynn? Flynn, you idiot. Are you out here? Damn it. Look, forget about Flynn. You gotta run. Alright, there's blood here now, too. Oh. Well, I guess we're not going anywhere. My car, it's been completely totaled. Who could have done this? Oh, God. It's that thing again. It's found me. There's nowhere to hide. I have to make a run for it. Oh, chapter two. Things begin to unravel. Well, guys... Perfect jump up spot here. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. This is Worse Than Dead. If you guys want to see a bit more on the channel, let me know in the comments and leave a good thumbs up and we'll come back and do some more. Otherwise, all the information will be down below in case you want to pick this up for yourselves. I will catch you next time.